this is one of multiple videos showing you new features available in version 2.0 of GNS3. You can access this document by going to documentation on the GNS3 website, selecting release notes, and selecting version two. One of the new features is smart packet capture. You can now capture traffic between devices such as iOS V devices, which wasn't possible in previous releases of GNS3. You can also capture on any link between any nodes. There's no longer any restriction on what kind of node can be used for packet capture. Previously, VPCS and QMU were not supported. So I'll now demonstrate an example of smart packet captures and the ability to capture on any link between any nodes. So if you're running a version 1.5.x release of GNS3, such as this example where I'm running 1.5.3, when you right click on a link between two iOS V devices as an example, we told that packet capture is not supported on this link. So there were restrictions on where you could capture traffic with GNS3 version 1.5.x. That's changed, however, in version 2.0. In this example, I'm running GNS3 version 2.0.0 beta 3 on a Mac with the GNS3 VM. These two routers are iOS V routers. So as an example, on router one, I can use the command show version to see that we're running iOS V software version 15.6. And I can ping from router one to router two. Now in this release of GNS3, I can right click on the link between those two routers and select start capture. I'm now able to start capturing traffic between those two routers. In Wireshark, we can see some loop traffic, but notice now when I ping from router one to router two, we see ICMP traffic. So as an example, I see an ICMP echo message or ping request a message, and here's a echo reply. So the smart packet capture option is now available in GNS3 version two. You can also change the name of the output file and prevent Wireshark from starting automatically. So as an example, I can stop that capture. I can start a capture and I could call it test one, two, three as an example and not allow the capturing software to start. Or I can start a capture, give it a name of test three, two, one and start the capturing software automatically. And once again, capture traffic sent between router one and router two. So GNS3 2.0 introduces smart packet captures and capturing on any link between any nodes. I hope you found this video to be of benefit to you. If you enjoyed it, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.